here we do youtube it's your boy live the rebel welcome to the edd season three draft analysis we are now the orlando yellow magic bruh because let me tell you something man season one season one we did our part but still didn't make playoffs it makes no sense then season two went one and seven so you know what no games will be played. I will win by any means necessary. That is why I've rebranded it to Yellow, Orlando Yellow Magic. I will be clicking the T-Wave button this season. There, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. Again, whatever it takes for me to make playoffs in this league, I'll do it, man. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I think I got the squad that'll help me accomplish this. Okay, because with the second overall pick, you can get some hitters, bro. You can get some hitters. You get a hitter right off the gate, and then the wheel just does what the wheel does best. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. This team is just... Mm, there's something, there's something, there's something about this team, man, that just, it, it's just poetic. Like, 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 we, we talk about, what, what did I draft season one? I drafted, like, I think I drafted, like, Lando I, King Gambit, all this, and, and freaking Defog Decidueye is my only hat to removal, right? Then season two, we went with a great Tusk route, with a Defog Talent Flame. Oh my gosh, that team was so forgettable. The team was so forgettable. I can't, I can't be bothered. But now we have Sun. So I'm going to explain why I went with this archetype team in the, in the very next slide. Literally, I'm like, literally there's one more slide after this and then we're out of here. Uh, so it's going to be a short video, not a YouTube short. Two very different things. Um, but... Second overall pick, I went Gouging Fire, as you can see uh, over on the uh, left side of this uh, heart thing um, that came with the, the graphic slide that I felt like using for today. Uh, then we have uh, Rillaboom, then on the wheel back, got Rillaboom, Iron Boulder. Um, the idea behind that, which I briefly explained in the draft stream, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, I think, you know, wonderful wonderful stream uh despite uh, my webcam taking up like a decent chunk of the bottom left corner uh rillaboom iron boulder just makes sense uh no ground type wants to come in and switch in on rillaboom and that opens up mighty clean uh to be clicked to be locked in things of that nature right um i saw on the way back there were some potential sun teams being, being cooked up so Went ahead and got Torkoal, and then I went and got uh, Sandy Shocks right after. You know, Torkoal for the sun, and Sandy Shocks is an Earth Power Bond. Um, if I didn't get an Earth Power Bond, then Earthquake would be halved in uh, Grassy Terrain, and then I'd have to try to run High Horsepower, and, uh, you know, High Horsepower isn't 100% accurate. If it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. You know the vibes. Uh, then I got a Secondary Rapid Spinner in Tentacruel. Got my first Terror Captain in Cuffy after that. Got my yellow magic button in freaking Kalefki. You know what's up, baby. You know what's up. You know the vibes. Terra Yen Mega, who I was, you, if you guys came here from, uh, not PWZ, if you came here from ETA, you know I'm a menace with the Terra Yen Mega. So it's nice to, you know, have that. Also, if you're from UNPL Academy, you know, you know, Com Terra Comfy is a is a is a pain uh if played properly right and then we got the you know the bayonet you know for spin blocking and then we got the shift tree for the chlorophyll because uh i don't know what i was doing in bbr SummerSlam 2k23 i was freaking running uh freaking wind rider <laughs> shift tree uh but now we have shift tree in the sun so uh yeah, that's that's the whole squad. I, I I love it. It has mons. Like the the most important thing about this squad is just like it's a sun team, 
But, like, literally, Padel said this in the, in the chat, like, when we were drafting and stuff like that, like, this is the, this isn't a, a full Sun team. And I love, like, being able to have a Sun team, but, like, if, but, like, I also want to be able to have games where I don't bring Sun. So, I'm not tight blocked to bring Sun every single week with this team, and I think it's great. And I think it's great. So, um, with that, I'm going to go ahead into the final slide of the uh, video today, and it's just a little dedication to two of the homies that aren't playing uh, in PvP this season, unfortunately. So, we got a season one homie in uh, one season that. I want to say no, 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 no. It was Razor that played King Kong season two. So once even that, um, PDD season one champion is playing this season. Um, kind of why I got Baynet um, in the thing, just you know, to pay a little homage and respect uh, to the homie. There's nothing wrong with him. Like he's not like sick or anything. He's just taking a break from draft and you know he's having a blast with the Pokemon Academy like you know I gotta respect that you gotta give credit where credit is with yes. and then as you can see on the left of the uh, onesie stone we got uh, Killua Boom so Killua Boom had the second overall pick last season in season 2 had uh, Gouging Fire Rilla Boom uh, Lucha King Gambit Quagsire all this powerful nasty disgusting stuff uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick here on the, on the screen right now so you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about um, I literally just recreated the first two picks and uh, put my own twist on it and uh, yeah so I want to make Killua proud this season as well so um, that's you know if, if we don't if we don't make it to playoffs which I sure hope that's not the case don't make playoffs. I want to have, like, a Bayonet game for my boy 1D. I want to have a Gouging Fire or a Rhythm of the Those are, those are like, my secondary goals. Primary goal, make playoffs. But you got some, you got two secondary goals here for two of the homies. So, so uh, yeah. That's it. Draft balance. Isn't that great? Uh, I don't know if that's uh, shorter than uh, Ace Trainer Rick's uh, draft analysis, but if it is cool, if it's not, it is what it is. We, we up and out of here, man. So with that's me, boy. I'm going to catch you guys week one, man. Peace!